Have you ever wondered what a candid photographer is and how that is different than like a normal wedding photographer? Well, you're in luck because I'm gonna dive into that topic in just a moment. Welcome back, I'm Josiah Blizzard and on this channel we talk about wedding photography tips and I share behind the scenes videos from engagements and weddings and you can come along and kind of peek over my shoulder or on top of my camera actually and watch me shoot those sessions and I'm very excited that you're here because today we are talking about candid wedding photographers. What are they? What does that mean? all of that good stuff. Candid wedding photographers are actually just your normal photographer. I'm a candid wedding photographer. If you shoot weddings, that means you're a candid wedding photographer as well because it is our job to actually document those candid moments. Now, some candid wedding photographers, some wedding photographers I'll say, are more candid in nature. Just look at uh, Two Man Studios or Hoffer Photography. Those studios specialize in what looks like really real candid moments. They don't have any interaction with their couple uh, th through the creation of those images. Well, in fact, I, I would bet that they actually have a lot of creative control over what their couple is doing, but the way they present their images, the way their images look, feel so candid, so natural, so unposed or, or placed or, or staged that they come off as this real candid moment. And there are a place for pure candids and there's a place for what I have coined these faux candids. And I believe that you should be doing a mix of candid imagery and posed faux candid uh, imagery. And what I mean by that is, for instance, let's take Let's take the getting ready uh, room as an example, right? The bride's getting in her dress and if you had no interaction with your couple, with your client, then you're just photographing them doing exactly what they're doing. You didn't place them in the best light. You did not put them in the best location in the room. You didn't move any of the, the furniture or the trash around. You didn't do anything to the space. You're just documenting what is actually happening right there in front of you. You have no creative control other than the settings on your camera. That's all you've done, right? Maybe you've put a flash up, maybe you have some control over the lighting, but overall, you're just documenting what's happening in front of your lens. Now, I believe that a good photographer balances the two out, right? They they are both candid in nature, but they're also creative in their control and, and their direction. So for instance, we are gonna take the couple and we're gonna place them or the bride and we're gonna place her in front of the best window light in that space. We're gonna clean up the area. Sometimes we move tables and chairs around. We are making sure that the the moment is in the best spot, in the best location, in the best light. And then we just tell them exactly what to do. And we, we might give them a prompt or we might tell them, uh, you know, hey, just look over your left shoulder back at your mom. And then we just let whatever happens happen. And I believe that is that is what you should be doing as a photographer. And so I am a photographer, but I'm also candid in nature, and I'm 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 doing a mix of of both here. And I think that's what makes a strong photographer. So I encourage you guys to go out there and do a mix of uh, candid imagery and and faux candids, as I call them. And those faux candids really come into play when you're moving the couple around, especially during posing. Right? We we like to give our couples, uh, you know, the pose to be in. We set them up in the pose, and then we'll give them a prompt to do and we'll just we'll just photograph whatever happens their reaction to that prompt or that that question we'll photograph that in real time and get the real reaction from them so that is what i mean by faux candid right we are creating this fake moment but it is real in nature right we're just giving them a little push a little nudge in front of camera to give us some kind of emotion or reaction right so there are moments, obviously, ceremony, reception, uh, and then little tidbits throughout the day that are truly candid images, truly candid moments where we've had no hand or play in in the creative space or in the in the creative process, other than maybe our flash or lighting and our composition and, and settings on the camera. Uh, reception is one of those big ones, right, where we set up some flashes and we'll just kind of photograph what's happening. We don't have any say in how they're positioned during their first dance. We're not interrupting that at all, but. For the most part throughout the day we are really creating those faux candid moments so in fact a candid photographer is really not that different from a normal wedding photographer they should be one and the same i hope this was helpful i hope that clarifies that a little bit we get asked a lot when inquiries come in like hey we're looking for a candid wedding photographer and i have to explain to them that like that's not really a thing this we are one and the same we are capturing candid moments and we're capturing uh them in a way where we're actually staging you a little bit to make sure you look your best so i really hope this was helpful if you like 
like this video, please hit the like button and maybe hit that subscribe button as well. And what do you prefer? I'd love to know in the comments. Do you prefer just straight up candid images or do you like to pose and have some control over your couple? I would love to know. Leave that in the comments below and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you. Take care.